So the primacy is of the party. The, legis the legislature has no identity other than being a representative of the party. After the election, section 66, 67 of the act require the returning officer, once the counting of votes have been completed, to declare the election result and to communicate the same to the election commission and the secretary of the house. That's very important, Mullis. Kindly see that, 67 of the That's okay, I think, you know, you have, uh, you have paraphrased it and there is no reason to doubt it. <laughs> right. The reason is, what he, what he sends is that he has been elected Indeed. as a, itself says, Malas, declaration of the... Is sponsored by the political party and he has been duly elected. And the certificate also says the same thing. Would you go back to it, Mullahs? Then, Mullahs, uh, item 9, corresponding rules of the conduct of election rules are Rule 6466, which prescribes 21C, Form 22, to be referred to by the returning officer. 21C deals with the format of declaration of the result of elections by the returning officer, and it explicitly requires the name of the recognized registered political party that has sponsored the candidate to be recorded. The same details are also required to be recorded in Form 22, which concerns the certificate election provided. Therefore, it is respectfully submitted that an elected member of the Legislative Assembly does not have any independent identity in the House except as a member of the political party to which he belongs. Accordingly, the Governor could not have recognized any members of the Legislature Party, dehorsed their political party, and permitted them to make a representation against the government formed by the political party to which they belonged. So, Malaz, he should have assumed that they continue to be in the Shiv Sena, and that Shiv Sena had 54, 52 members, and all the three put, put parties together have 152 out of a house of 280. There was no occasion for him to say, have a plot test. And undisputedly, in the present case, the group of the Shiv Sena Legislature Party, represented by Eknath Shinde, is a faction of the Legislature Party, albeit a majority. The recognition of a majority of Shiv Sena MLAs by the governor to entertain a doubt about the confidence enjoyed by the government is in the teeth of the provisions of the 10th schedule and of the constitutional scheme related to election of members to the Legislative Assembly. Therefore, governor could not have asked the government headed by Udav Thakre to seek a trust vote on the floor of the House on the 30th of June on this basis. The governor's decision rather placed a premium on the unconstitutional acts of a faction in the Legislature Party allowing them to topple an elected government. He knows because he's, a mem he's not a member of the assembly, but he is part of the legislature. So he knows. So he went outside the scheme of the 10th schedule as well as the scheme of the constitution to recognize a faction. Majority or minority doesn't matter. The governor is fully uh, uh, knowing fully well that a faction of the legislature okay, party cannot be recognized uh, under well, the constitution. Sorry, just to pause here. According to you, suppose there is a split, which is now, of course, not recognized. Yeah. So what would have been a split under the uh, unamended provisions of Parate or of the 10th schedule? Uh, but there is a group of legislators who would otherwise, uh, who have otherwise left the, they say we have withdrawn support. Correct. Right, whether they withdrew support here or not, that, that you already made your point. Now, they will incur a disqualification because there is no split which is recognized by the 10th schedule now. Yes. 
can the governor not then look at the numbers and say that assuming that this is these people say that we have left whether they incur a disqualification will be decided by the speaker but this conduct of these people in doing something which is contrary to the 10 schedule also affects the is liable to affect the the strength of the house and the strength of the number of parties in that house, or the strength of the party in that house. Can he not do that? No. Because your argument is he can't do that at all. No, no, Madhuri. Forget Malas the majority. This can happen, Malas, where two or three or four members of each political party can do the same. What you are doing is, Malas, when, 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 when there was no 10th schedule, what used to happen, the same thing. What my Lord is putting to me used to happen when the 10th schedule was not there. Right. So you are going back to a state where the 10th schedule is not there. That's my answer. Because that's exactly what your lordships are putting to me. Can't the governor, looking at the fact that these people now say they want to withdraw support, they may be disqualified as a but separate issue. Then your submission would be that the governor can't call for a trust vote in uh, oblivious to the provisions of the 10th schedule. No, forget the 10th schedule. He can't call for a trust vote, Maraj, by recognizing a faction in a political party which has no identity which has no constitutional identity. That's my summation. Well, let's, your lordships are now looking at them as group, as a group. They are not a group, they are individuals. There is no concept of a group within the legislature. Each is an individual. And government formation is based only on alliances. And therefore, Malaj, calling a trust vote has to be based also on alliances if it's been reduced to a minority. That's accepted now by Rameshwar Prasad. Maraj. They could have followed Maraj, the Madhya Pradesh model, resigned. No, but there they wanted to be chief ministers and post Maraj, so naturally Maraj. <laughs> they, could, they could have followed the other model. Maraj, that also is a constitutional issue which one day your lordships will decide. That's also another issue. The collective decision to resign as a group, well, it is something which is very suspect in constitutional law. Suddenly, all of them together one day decide we all must resign. This, this is. Well, it's, I have always questioned it. <laughs> I have always questioned it, but that's yes. another issue, Malaj. But it also has a bearing on coalition governments, yes. particularly regional parties. Yes regional parties, this argument will be, could sometimes be very dangerous also because there is absolutely no freedom in the party, except for one leader. Many a times it's a family which runs it and there is no scope of anybody else coming into the fray but in fact, and setting up an alternative because it's impossible. It's well, virtually, we are interpreting the constitution to say that it is just not possible for any legislator. Well, in fact, this has been my grievance. What happens, Millers, in the United States of the Republican Party will reach out to Democrats to get a bill passed. The insurance, actually, Barack Obama had to reach out to the Republicans for his insurance bill. And in the UK, the same thing, the Conservative Party or the Labour Party reaches out to the opposition members. There is no such thing as defection. This is a problem. But anyway, Malas, we are in another era. Yes. At the moment, we are on the law as it stands today. So we go back to the IRM, Gayaram regime, where there is no 10th schedule, and you can actually move the governor for toppling any government you want at any time you want. Yeah, a few people. I, mean, I have. I, there is an NCP case where four people, only four people of the NCP Millers actually went away. There were only four members. All of them went away. So the can.